Hi, I'm Glenn Gass. I am the Make It Lead here at the Creative Discovery Museum. And today we're going to do the self-propelled bucket. To make our bucket, the first thing we're gonna need, of course, is a bucket. You can use either a uh, round canister, like a uh, chips container, anything that you can fit your hand in and do your work with. All of our projects are designed to be done with the supervision of an adult and we encourage everyone to make sure they have one nearby. We wanna make sure that we wear our safety glasses, mine already are safety glasses, and that we are wearing our gloves anytime that we are using tools that could cut us or hurt us. This is our canister. First thing we're going to do is we're gonna take a ruler and we're gonna move our ruler up and down the bucket until we find where the widest section of the bucket is. Then we're going to draw a line on each side of the ruler once we have found where that wide section is, like that. Then we're gonna turn the bucket 90 degrees and we're going to draw another line across it. So that we have a tic-tac-toe pattern. We're gonna do the exact same thing now on the lid of our container. Now we need to make holes in the top and bottom. What you wanna do is pick two of the places where they cross on your tic-tac-toe opposite each other, as if you were gonna do a diagonal tic-tac-toe. Do the same thing on the lid. Next, we have to make our holes, we're gonna make holes where we put the dots. You can do this in many ways. You can use a hammer an, or nail, or you can use a drill. We take our nail, we put it over top of one of our dots, and we take our hammer and we hammer it through. Then we pull it back out and we put our hammer over the next piece, over the next dot, and we hammer it through. Now, if you happen to have a drill and are allowed to use it, drills also make very nice holes and are easy a little easier to get through with our elastic. You'll want to do this with both the top and bottom or the lid and the bottom. See there's a need for the uh, cardboard underneath. It protected my table when the drill hit it. And that way I didn't accidentally drill into the table. Next thing we need to do is run some elastic through the container and into, they tied a really big knot into my elastic. Thank you very much, my helper elves. There we go. Now we're gonna run a piece of elastic through our container. And it's gonna go all the way through If like I'm having today, you're having a little bit of difficulty, what you can do is take a little bit of tape and put it on around your elastic and it'll form like what's called an aglet, like you have on your shoes and to make it a little easier for you to get it on the inside of the holes. Just like that. Much easier with, with the tape on it. Now, you want to take it and go through the lid. And back into the lid. Once you have it inside, you're going to want to, you're going to want to cut it off. And tie a knot in. Pulling it as tight as you can while it's in there. Try not to pull it back through the bottom of the bucket. 
It's because then you have to start all over again. You're gonna need some weights to put in your bucket. You can use a bag of gravel, some leftover change, whatever you'd like to use. I'm gonna use a little leftover change that I have and I'm gonna tape it right here to my knot. Close my lid and then to wind it up, I simply turn the barrel in the opposite direction to the way that I'm wanting it to roll. Then you simply put it on the table and away it rolls. I'm Glenn Gass. I am here at the Creative Discovery Museum and come back check with us again next time for another project.